The ships of Star Wars are iconic, especially the original trilogy. X-Wings, the Millennium Falcon, and above all else, Imperial Star Destroyers. Out of all of the various factions in the universe, I think the Galactic Empire has the most iconic designs for their fleet. But there is a tendency in Star Wars to focus on the ships of the Imperial line of Star Destroyers. A tendency made especially obvious in the most recent Star Wars movie, with their redressed Imperial-class Star Destroyer, which they called the Zeistan. But various other Star Wars designs have also gotten a fair following, with those with more than a passing interest in the universe likely knowing of ships like the Victory-class Star Destroyer, Eclipse-class Dreadnought, and Lancer-class Frigate. Indeed, many of the better-known Imperial designs have made their way from Legends into current Disney canon. And then there are a huge number of other designs, most of them small, that go largely unnoticed by all but the most die-hard fans. Some of them are horrible looking, but a majority are not bad at all, and a few are actually gorgeous. In this video, I am going to share some of my favorite of the more obscure designs. Hopefully, you see a ship you didn't know of before today. Before we begin, a great many of these ships have been done in great detail by Fractal Sponge, a wonderful 3D artist and Star Wars fanatic whose Star Wars ship designs are inspired. I have used many of his pictures and will post links to his website for each of them. Check for those in the description. First on our list, we have the IPV, or Imperial Patrol Vessel. The IPV was a vessel designed for systems patrol to provide a cheap and effective Imperial presence throughout the galaxy. Equipped with a limited armament and no hyperdrive, the IPV was meant to be able to deal with the typical pirate ship or starfighter, and maybe even fight a corvette at a stretch. Think of it more as a Coast Guard cutter than a proper warship in today's terms. If you have not seen it yet, Corey's Datapad has released a video on the IPV, which is really good, and includes several 3D model shots. I will link the video in the description because you should definitely check that out. The next ship we are looking at is the Star Galleon, a class of transport which was somewhat outdated by the Galactic Civil War. The design, which to me reminds me of a turtle with its legs drawn into its shell, was designed primarily for transport work and not duty with a battle fleet. The vessel was slow, both in real space as well as hyper, but did feature very capable internal defenses to help the ship repel borders. The ship first appeared in the original Thrawn trilogy of books and were remarked to be even older than the dreadnoughts of the Katana fleet, or Dark Force, which formed a key plot point for the story and they were also less combat valuable to boot. While not the most powerful warship in the Empire's arsenal, the Star Galleon did its job well by all accounts, and was more than up to the task of carrying and, when necessary, defending its cargo, whatever it might be. The Strike class is another design which seems to have been first mentioned in the Thrawn trilogy. A bit of a departure from the usual Imperial wedge-shaped designs the ship is not built by Kuat Drive Yards, but rather the Lorinar Corporation, which may go some way to explain the ship's distinctly non-imperial appearance. The strike was developed during the Galactic Civil War as the Imperial Navy began to struggle to maintain space superiority against the ever-increasing strength of the Rebel Alliance Starfleet. The ship had a modular design allowing it to perform planetary landings, cargo and passenger transport, as well as act as a fighter carrier. Strikes also carried reasonable firepower for their size. Two of them were considered comparable to a Victory-class Star Destroyer in firepower, allowing them to engage even Mon Cal cruisers with reasonable odds of success. The ship's armor and structure were fairly weak, providing the ship's only major weakness. All around, though, the ship was fairly well designed for its size and would serve the Empire well. A good little mid-sized cruiser which performed very well and I think deserves a bit more attention. Plus, the name is very evocative, just strike. There's no business about 
roundabout Latin naming, just strike. The Secutor class Star Destroyer, alternatively known as the Secutor class Battle Cruiser, was a class of capital ship designed during the Clone Wars to serve as flagships for Venator formations. Equipped with massive hangar spaces to carry an impressive number of starfighters, as was common with capital ships in the era, the ship was somewhat light on other weaponry, though it still packed a punch. Only a few ships of the type were made relatively late in the Clone Wars. Once the Empire came to power, production of this class petered off fairly quickly in favor of other more powerful designs. But at least one member of the class remained in service up until the days of Palpatine's Dark Empire. This is one of my favorite designs by Fractal Sponge. Appearing like a bigger brother of the Venator, the ship has an imposing look, but is also refreshingly distinct from the normal appearance of average Imperial designed ships. The Imperial Customs Corvette was a type of ship which served mostly in the roles of local system law enforcement, customs inspection, and anti-piracy patrols. The ship featured a somewhat unique hull arrangement which resembled a skeletal and trimmed down version of the Gladiator class Star Destroyer. Its forward prongs allowed the vessel to hold trader and suspected smuggling vessels tightly to allow search parties to go over and seek out any contraband. The ships were built to perform many of the same roles as the IPVs, but were somewhat more specialized and deployed to more important and active parts of the galaxy, as their specialized nature allowed them to perform searches more efficiently. But their ability to perform other more mundane duties was less. The type first appeared in the late 1990s novel verse and has made routine appearances since then. Fractal Sponge has again done an excellent version of this vessel and a military variant, which is somewhat beefier and that I think I actually prefer to the standard version. And there is what I hope was a few ships that you might not have heard of before or else didn't know much about. Let me know which vessels you saw for the first time here, as well as some of the lesser known ships that you think deserve more love and attention than they do currently. I meant to have this video out on Sunday, but real life prevented that from happening. As a quick bit of channel announcements, I have started reworking the Patreon tiers to give anyone supporting the channel a bit more bang for their buck, and I've begun writing a book as well. More on that in a future video. With that out of the way, if you did like this video, then consider doing the normal thing every YouTuber is constantly harassing you to do liking, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. And even if you don't do that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good rest of the day.